$1,400 Stimulus Check Update and Incoming Social Security SSA SSI SSDI Update. For nearly nine decades, Social Security has served as a crucial lifeline providing retirement security to millions of elderly and disabled Americans. However, demographic and economic changes now threaten the long-term stability of this vital program. By 2033, the Social Security Trust Fund is projected to be depleted, forcing a 21% cut to monthly retirement benefits unless policymakers act. Such a reduction would have devastating consequences, leaving many seniors struggling to afford basic necessities. Yet in Washington, there is little sense of urgency from leaders of either party to enact reforms to shore up Social Security's finances for future generations. This growing crisis requires immediate bipartisan action to preserve one of the nation's most important anti-poverty programs. Impact of potential benefit cuts. A 21% cut in monthly Social Security checks would have widespread repercussions across the country. The average monthly benefit for retired workers is currently around $1,500. A reduction of 21% would decrease this by approximately $315 per month, or nearly $4,000 annually. For millions of seniors relying on Social Security for the majority of their income, such a decline could prove catastrophic. Two-thirds of beneficiaries depend on Social Security for at least 50% of their income in retirement, with one-third relying on it for nearly 90% of funds. A cut of this magnitude would force many into poverty and hardship, putting housing, food, and health care out of reach. Those living longest in retirement and those with lower lifetime earnings would be hit hardest. The economic impact would also ripple throughout local communities as struggling seniors reduce spending. Clearly, allowing such a dramatic reduction to occur would undermine one of the fundamental objectives of Social Security, preventing senior poverty, trust fund insolvency, and growing deficits. The projected shortfall stems from demographic and economic changes straining Social Security's finances. As baby boomers have aged into retirement in large numbers, fewer workers are paying into the system compared to the growing number of beneficiaries. At the same time, Americans are living longer and drawing benefits for more years. These trends, coupled with a recession and relatively slow wage growth in recent years, have exacerbated funding pressures. Since 2010, Social Security has been paying out more in benefits than it collects in taxes, with the difference made up from interest on the nearly $3 trillion trust fund built during years of surplus revenue. However, this reserve is dwindling and according to estimates will be depleted by 2033. Once insolvency hits, taxes will only cover around 80% of scheduled benefits. If nothing changes, this growing annual shortfall will quickly accumulate, necessitating steep cuts down the road. Lack of leadership from Washington. Despite these looming budget shortfalls, there has been little sense of urgency from political leaders in Washington to craft solutions. During the last presidential campaign, neither major party candidate put forth a concrete plan to strengthen Social Security's long-range finances. Some Republicans have advocated for partially privatizing the system or raising the retirement age, facing opposition from Democrats and AARP. Democrats have resisted cuts while offering few specifics on alternatives. Meanwhile, the House Ways and Means Committee has not held a hearing on Social Security solvency for over four years. While partisan divisions make consensus difficult, inaction is simply not an option when the economic security of tens of millions hangs in the balance. Quickly crafting bipartisan reforms will grow more challenging the longer solutions are delayed. Leadership and compromise is direly needed across party lines to craft pragmatic solutions and restore confidence in this bedrock program. Potential Policy Options Experts from both sides of the aisle have put forth an array of proposals to stabilize Social Security's funding for 75 years or more. Raising the payroll tax rate could shore up reserves, though this may hurt the economy. Gradual increases to the full retirement age, linked to longevity gains, are more balanced. Redirecting the payroll tax on earnings above $200,000 could boost revenues. For high earners, Raising the cap on the amount of income subject to Social Security taxes would substantially improve finances. Better coordinating benefit formulas for lower and higher lifetime earners could make the system fairer. Investing some reserves in equities may boost returns, though this is controversial. Privatization through personal accounts would likely prove too costly and risky. 
Any final package will likely combine multiple modest reforms to solve the long-term shortfall in a balanced manner without unduly burdening any group. With political will and compromise, policymakers can absolutely craft equitable solutions to preserve this vital safety net in the decades ahead. Protecting a Sacred Promise Enacted during the Depression, Social Security has evolved into the most successful anti-poverty program in American history, lifting countless millions of seniors out of financial insecurity. For nearly nine decades, it has kept its promise to provide a modest level of income support after a lifetime of work. However, this sacred compact is now in jeopardy without leadership and action. No American who worked and paid into the system their entire career should face destitution in their later years due to political dysfunction. While reforms are needed, they must uphold Social Security's historic mission of providing a secure retirement for all, including the vulnerable. With fairness, wisdom, and bipartisan cooperation, solutions can and must be found to safeguard this bedrock program upon which tens of millions of current and future retirees depend. While action is imperative, forging bipartisan consensus will be challenging given deep political divisions surrounding Social Security. Many Republicans favor structural changes like partially privatizing the system or gradually raising the retirement age, which Democrats firmly oppose. Meanwhile, some left-leaning policymakers have called for modest benefit expansions, an idea rejected by conservatives. These entrenched disagreements have helped stall progress for years, despite the looming shortfalls. However, past compromises show that common ground can be found with open and honest negotiations. Pragmatic leaders must make their case by emphasizing shared goals over ideological divides. All aim to preserve Social Security's core mission of ensuring a basic level of retirement security after a life of work. With good faith efforts, parties can craft balanced solutions that stabilize funding through a combination of modest revenue boosts and prudent program adjustments without unduly burdening any group. Leaders must appeal to their members' problem-solving instincts rather than partisan allegiances alone if stalemate persists despite the costs of inaction, fallback options exist to buy time. The president could form a bipartisan commission tasked with brokering a consensus package within a tight deadline. Its rigorous analysis and specific package could jumpstart real congressional debate. As a last resort, emergency measures like raising the payroll tax rate could tide the program over temporarily until broader reforms pass. However, Prompt bipartisan action in Washington remains the surest path, engaging the American public. Reaching compromise also requires leaders to make the case directly to citizens. While polls show widespread public support for Social Security, many younger workers doubt benefits will exist by their retirement. Educating the public about looming shortfalls and the shared commitment needed to solve them is key.